Welcome to module number two. In module number two, we're gonna talk about the apps that are also here. Not only the apps you can see over here, but also the design studio, because to me, uh, like I said before already, the power of Builderall lies within the drag and drop site builder and uh, the responsive builder uh, and the email marketing tool. The, all the other things are just apps, add-ons, things that are great, they're not perfect, they're not as good as having a private designer, but you can get a long way. So let's start with the design studio. With the design studio, um, what you can do is you can create the mock-ups. And what I'm going to do now is I took a screenshot from my, uh, let me get it here. I took a screenshot from my phone that you can see over here and I send it to my computer. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to try to promote my app and I'm looking for the best picture that I wanna use. Let's say I wanna use this one. So I'm clicking on it and all I'm doing is I say upload media and I'm going to my downloads and I'm clicking on this one. I say open. I have to crop it, make sure it's well done. So I kind of want this to show, otherwise it shows like it's cut off. This looks perfect. Smooth, add title, no, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna press done. Then I'm gonna go see result. And the moment I click see result, you can see it's charging, it's configuring. And as you can see, now I've got my app designed. I select the size that I want to use it in. And let's say I wanna do it here. It's downloading to my computer. And right now I've got the app. So this is a really easy way and I can show you how to do it in another uh, tool. So let me just, well, that's the thing. They don't have a close button. So we have to go back here, design studio. And basically you can repeat the exact same thing. Let me just make a screenshot from, I just made a screenshot by the way, you don't see that, but I just use my Apple keyboard, Apple shift and then three, upload media, make sure I select the screenshot I just took. Do I wanna use it like this? I wanna have it like that. Maybe I can scale it a little bit. That's too big. Oh, there. they are really pr precise. I'm really moving my hand really slowly, but okay, let's see if this is too small. So this should work pretty good. So, okay, I'm done. See the result. And now suddenly I have a girl promoting our design tool. So I click download. Now, if I want, I can just go to the builder all site, my sites, add it over there. At the same time, I'm gonna check the image. Let's make sure that I just select it like this and I make sure I crop it. So in this case, I do Apple K. If you're not on Apple, you might need to use other tools and this is not the thing I'm teaching. So I'm just doing this as a little extra bonus um, to wait for the HTML builder uh, to load. And now it's cool because now I can directly show you how we are going to uh, add images. So we're gonna go to the plus, say image, and we select, in this case, we have multiple forms of images. 
but I almost always, you can see here what happens. If I go there, it's a 3D image. If I go there, it's a hover over. If it's there, you get a pop-up type of thing. But I just like plain images, normal images, nothing special. Click this one away, right click, change image. Now another really cool feature about this is I can add the directory and say test. So this is my test directory, upload an image, go to downloads, downloads, this is my download, upload it there. And what you have to watch out with is the image size and I'm going to make another tutorial about that uh, later on. And it's, you have to try to get the best quality of image with the lowest size, because the lower your size, the faster it will load. So there we are, there's our girl. So we can just put this here, change this over here, change this over here. That's not so nice, but change the social media over here. I mean, it's about the ID, of course. So just to give you an idea about how easy it is to get creative and build your software. So now this is a bit too low. I wanna drag this down a little bit lower. I go down like this. Now the text there becomes readable as well check if the bottom is still good, the page is still good, everything is good. So now let's give it a preview. So now suddenly I can have this girl right in here with us. And of course this is not the nicest thing and we should edit this and adjust this, but I'm just doing this in a few minutes of time to give you an impression of what is possible so you know what's possible so you can actually go out and uh, use the design tool to improve your website. No need to hire an expensive designer, just use our tool and uh, yeah, what more do you want? So this was the design studio. Next up, I am going to talk about the apps because the presentation builder and the animated videos and the uh, app creator these are modules on its own the same for the facebook app because they require a lot more work so i'm going to first show you the really small tools the tools that you should use the tools that i'm using on a daily basis and then the tools that i'm not using that much i'm going to show you in depth how they work in later modules thank you for watching and see you in the next module